plenty of support for the sparkling diamond. She looks a uh, million dollars out there. Goes into this free, lying in third place. She's got some work to do if she wants to catch the two Russians ahead of her. A podium finish here would be great for her. Already finished second in Skate Canada this season. Skating to Moulin Rouge, this is Ashley Wagner. jump she's prone to double footing and uh, being slightly under rotated Love is just a game. right on the B of the bang the double axle oh so much sophistication already Down on the triple flip, that would have been a combination. She nailed down the short program. Now needs this. No problems with the Salco. Super elevation on that triple loop and loads of speed going into it. Oh, how did she hang on to that? Triple flip should have been a combination there. It should have been a three jump. So points slipping away all the time. There's that loop again, this time on its own. Double footed on the landing of that combination, but great to see it going for it. Triple flip, triple toe. Well, that really was a gutsy performance there from Ashley Wagner. Of course, she doesn't have the triple looks in the program. That's the uh, jump with the highest tariff, with the exception, of course, of triple axle. But uh, so that's, that puts her on the back foot going into this. And uh, that fall on the triple flip 
will be costly. She needs 111.24. Got a personal best of 129.92. Could be close. 111 would get her on the podium. And it's huge music, isn't it? The, just looking at the overall cons performance of this, it's Moulin Rouge is the backdrop, and she has some Oscar-winning moments in this, as far as a performer is concerned for me. That she can feel the music. Before that, the loop was one of them. She has the ability to conquer and own the biggest epic music soundtrack. But when the jumps don't work and they're not there, there's obviously a missing. That. Oscar for that. It's in the post. Jumps look much better, though. That triple loop looked clean to me. Obviously, the technical panel will have a good long look at some of these elements. There's that uh, flip at the end, and you can see the toe under-rotated and a double-footed landing. But uh, that was the only time she landed on two feet, so that's much, much better from Ashley. Beautiful spins. Not sure she's going to get the levels on the very last spin of the program. Just running out of room there. But you're right, Nikki. She does own the space, and uh, she just looks a, a superstar out there. Yeah, I, I believe in in the the music with her. We talked about whether the the vocal can take away or add here. It adds because she's a part of it. She is living it on the ice. It's not it's not just a backdrop. It's part of the performance. It lifts it, and you feel that she's there with it. It's her, and it, I was so focused on it's the great. That last flip that I was gonna make it a toe. I mean, oh. And to be able to do that in the midst of everything else going in your head, as she's saying, to have that ability. So I missed, missed the flip. Is super. Yes, she was going to get that yeah. flipping combination if, it, if she had to do it 27 times, I thought. That's great, I'm going to get it. Looks like she's just uh, pulled, a, pulled her side. Yeah, she gave it her best shot, there's no doubt about that. Now, the moment of truth. 111.24 for a bronze medal here in Bordeaux, and she's going to get it, 116.39, that's... Uh, Good news for her, that one point deduction for the fall, but uh, yeah, a fantastic second score of 63.27.